This is a calculator project. It does everything a normal calculator can do. Uh, not a scientific calculator, like obviously. Um, it is implemented using C language and simulated on Protoss. It is divided into two AVR at Mega32 uh, microcontrollers. This is the main one. It is basically the calculator. It does all the operations, which is addition, um, subtraction, multiplication, division. It does decimal point operations and negative number operations. It can also clear the char clear a character and recess the calculator. Um, this MCU has no significant importance except for utilizing the UART but what it does is that this MCU send the operands, the operations and the results to this one which displays it on this LCD so now I'm going to show you the operations that this calculator support So now after entering an operation and pressing equal and the result is shown uh, Pressing on any button on this keypad will reset the LCD and starts a new operation So I can instead of pressing the on button I can press like 5 minus starting a new operation directly Equal to You can do like 8 So also this calculator supports multiple operations with priorities. So, so here, um, first the calculator um, does the multiplication, which is two times six equal twelve, and then it does the division, which is divided four twelve divided four equal three, and then thirty five plus eight minus three, which is forty. Yep, that's it. So you can also do negative number operations. So let's try a negative number operation. Negative 36 plus 6. That's negative 30. Yep. Um, you can let's try one more. 20 plus. So if you want to add a negative uh, number now. So you do a negative 9. The calculator now understand this negative sign not as a minus but as a negative. So 20 plus negative 9 which is 20 minus 9 equal 11. Uh, you can also do um, a subtraction then negative which is like 20 minus negative 5. That's 25. You can also do a negative negative is a positive they cancel each other so it's a 20 times 5 basically which is 100 you can basically add uh, any number of negative that you want uh, if it's an if it's an odd number it will be a negative and if it's an even number they will cancel each other and it should be a positive so now um, if you are entering an operation and then you don't want to complete this or you want to reset the calculator then you hold the on button for more than 300 seconds and it resets the calculator so you keep holding it yep and that's it it resets the calculator also so you can clear by short pressing uh, like shorter than 300 millisecond this clears a character so a short press key is a character. You can press the whole operation and start a new one. So for the last thing that this calculator can support is the decimal point uh, operations. But the decimal point can be entered by uh, holding the zero button for more than 300 seconds. So if for example we want to enter 20.22 20 so we can now hold the zero button to enter the decimal point I hold it and that's it 20.22 and then let's add it by 30.88 so now um, this 
should be a 51.1 but because this um, project is done on an AVR variable used here is float32 so for the float32 bit representation of IEEE there is a representation problem so the um, operands the variables that host the operands which is 20.22 and 30.88 are not saved or stored in the um, variables that carry them accurate 100 percent and the result here is not represented accurate 100 percent there's a representation problem in the floating 32-bit um, of IEEE I'm going to provide a link in the description um, that explains more of this problem so let's try uh, another decimal point um, operation for example 2.2 plus 3 point um, no okay so I entered this uh, point wrong I entered 0 instead so I can delete it and then enter a point 3.8 equal 6 exactly so now we are going to discuss a new function of this calculator which is the error handling so if for example I entered a 2 plus minus 3 that's not an error that's a 2 plus negative 3 um, so if I entered now a time multiplication time and then plus 3 so that's an error because there are two operations like two successively entered operations that's an error so if I press equal it gives you a syntax error that's that's a syntax error let's try one more like 3 and divided time 3 for example syntax error so let's try like a 3 decimal point decimal point 3 that's a syntax error okay so there are two more types of errors the first one is the variable overflow error um, the reason this error exists because the um, when you enter an operand so an operand is like maybe 12 uh, or 2 so when you enter it the variable carrying it has a um, has a size which is a 32 bit I am I'm using um, an int which is a 32 bit uh, 32 bit so it has a maximum uh, number that it can hold so if I entered so the maximum number that the variable can hold is any number composed of nine digits so if you enter 10 digits that's a variable overflow so let's try um like for example one two three four five six seven eight nine and then if you entered one more digit that the variable overflow there, there you go variable overflow um also there is another error which is the last type of error which is LCD limit so this LCD can hold up to 40 it can display up to 40 characters it can not display more than that so if you entered more than 40 characters and I won't try that because it, it's so time-consuming um, so maybe I'll show you directly uh, if you entered more than 40 characters the the calculator gives you a, an LCD limit overflow uh, error so let's try that so that's it I entered um, more than 40 characters I kept entering numbers like more than 40 characters and then it gave me LCD limit exceed so that's it with the functions I think that's all the this the functions uh, are covered this port is a virtual port uh, it is used to communicate with the other MCU which is this one it's also it's used to communicate with it through uh, the, the, those virtual ports those those two virtual ports communicate with each other through UART you can also directly connect the RXD pin to the, T, uh, to the TXD pin here and the TXD pin here to the RXD pin here you can directly connect them and you will also get the same results so to further explain the um, 
communication between the two MCUs. The transmitter pin, the TXD, uh, of this MCU is connected to this virtual port, and those two virtual ports are connected together through uh, an application called VSPE, which is the um, Virtual Serial Ports emula Emulator. One last thing. Um, if you entered more than 15 characters, which is the limit of that this LCD can carry. So now you have entered 15 and the cursor is 16. So if you entered one more, the, the, the LCD shifts. It shifts to the right. So let's see here. Like 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It shifts. 8. It shifts. 9. It shifts. If you clear the character, it shifts back to the, to the left here. So it shifts, it shifts, it shifts, then it reaches the one which was the first character. Now, um, so now if I entered more than um, 16 characters, the second MCU comes to um, function. So uh, let's enter more than 16 characters first. 7, 8, 9, and so now. So now this MCU here, which is the display MCU, now it can shift left to and right. So if you plus the on and the equal, on shifts to the left. Here you can see the rest of the operation, and you can shift more than that because one it was the first character, and then equal shifts to the right. Here, and then you can shift anymore. And then, if you press equal in this uh, on on this MCU, if you press equal, now uh, for this one it returns to the whole, so it returns back to the first, and that's the result of the addition of the two numbers. So now you can also display right and left, so you can go to the right and see to the lost. There you can go anymore, and then you can go to the left also. So that's it. I don't think there is any other thing that this calculator can do. Um, I will write the challenges in the description. I also provide the code for the two MCUs. Um, that's it.